Hi there, I'm Peter, also known as Pes, one of the Calva guys. I want to show you how to use Calva, and it's a REPL client, and it's Closure LSP client to hack Closure LSP, the Closure LSP server, while it is uh, running. So, what is Closure LSP, you might w wonder. So, uh, that is um, uh, a server that implements the, the, the language server protocol. Uh, it provides um, an editor with a lot of um, developer features, such as documentation, uh, lookup, peek at definitions, uh, navigate to implementation and, uh, and refactorings and stuff like that. And Closure LSP is very complete and uh, implements a, a lot of this and is uh, bundled uh, with Calva and integrated with Calva in a very tight way. So it uh, gives you a lot of very cool features that you get without actually connecting uh, the REPL because Closure LSP is fully static. And you can see here that we don't have any of these features that I'm talking about when I hunt over here. I can't, I'm holding down command now and I can't, I can't clicking, I can't, I can't navigate there. I can't do anything like that. And that is because Closure LSP is initializing here still, and it's it's failing actually. It has failed started. Uh, that is because uh, it can't find this Closure LSP executable, which is it's looking for in this project, which is the Closure LSP project itself. And it is, uh, it's not finding it there. And the reason it's not finding it there is because I have deleted it. And we, uh, we will build it ourselves and hack on it. And that's the whole point with this, with this exercise. So let's look at here. We have the, the recipe here for how to do it. And you can, of course, you can, of course, you don't want to, but you can do it the old fashioned way with com compiling, uh, 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 the executable, starting it, testing it, see that it doesn't do something that you want it to do, or there's a bug or whatever it is, and you want to fix it, and you go in into the code and and uh, make a change, and then you need to recompile and restart and test and see if your change has fixed what you're doing. If it hasn't, you need to uh, uh, ch change again, recompile, restart, so, and so on and so forth. So you, you're in a cycle there, uh, and the cycle can be pretty, uh, pretty long. Uh, even if the compilation is not very, uh, very uh, long, it can still be a very tedious way to to work. Actually, so some. Uh, people have uh, improved this uh, with uh, test-driven development so that you can define the behavior uh, you want first and and then recompile and restart and, and run the tests and see that because you get more out of each cycle, but you're still in this cycle. You're still in this uh, uh, squirrel wheel, if, if you like. And you can actually break out of that wheel completely if you if you're using uh, Clojure and using the Clojure way, because then you can use interactive programming uh, and you can modify the running application while it is running without restarting it or anything, you can modify its behavior. And uh, then if, 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 of course, you get immediate feedback then. So, Let's do it that way. And we have the recipe here and uh, it says start reconfiguring your editor to use the Clojure LSP executable from this project. And that's actually already done. Uh, and that's why it's looking for it here. And 
it's not finding it right now. So we, we should rebuild it and so make is the way to do it. And it the, by default crucial sp make command or the make configuration will compile it in the bug mode so that it will have the REPL and then REPL server there for Calva uh, to connect to. And it will also pack this, uh, this uh, YAR into a native ex uh, executable thing that starts really fast and that uh, doesn't need Java to, to start. Uh, so it's doing all that now. Now it's building the the YAR, and what, when it's yeah, and now it's doing this binary thing, the uh, executable that I was talking about. So and now it's done. So now we have uh, a new Clojure SP executable, and we should then restart uh, the Clojure SP server. Restart. It doesn't start, but anyway, that's what we should do. And you, in this code, you do that. And we can you do that by reloading the VS Code window. And there's a command for that in the command plant. Reload the VS Code window, and that will start Closure LSP. And this time it will have an executable uh, to start. So this time it will succeed. Uh, we should see that that happens. It takes a Little while the first time. So now it's uh, uh, started. So now we should actually be able to see these hovers and peek at the definition of uh, uh, command click to navigate uh, to that uh, code. Uh, and you can actually go into closure core native, <laughs> closure core stuff. And look at how 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 it's how, how these things are implemented as well. So it's very very powerful now that we have a, a closure LSP uh, so running in Calva, so uh, LSP client is uh, is connected to it. Now we should, uh, according to this guide we're following here, we should run. The LSP server info command and find the NREPL port and then connect to it. So let's uh, uh, do that. Go to LSP server info and then we should find the port here. And this is the NREPL port that we need. And then connect to running REPL in your project. And this is a depths Eden project and we paste the port there and now we are connected uh, to the REPL and I will start with uh, loading the file and uh, now we can uh, start hacking on the uh, closure LSP using the REPL can see that we can evaluate stuff here from uh, from the buffer, and uh, this string, of course, evaluates to itself. So that's not so interesting. But anyway, you can. Uh, and so we want to see that we can, because maybe you don't believe me. Uh, you can, that you can modify the closure LSP server while it is running. But using that server info command, right, to to get uh, to get this information uh, about the LSP, the, the closure LSP server. So we could, and that is actually this function that is that is being called to get that. So you can do, you can add an entry foo here, uh, mapping to say bar. And we can convince ourselves that there is no foo in this output here. And but now we have, if we reevaluate this function uh, 
now we will have installed a new version of this function in the running program. So now if we run this closure lsp summary info command again, uh, we should be able, oh, did I close it? Uh, let's, see. let's look at the output. We should be able to find foo mapping to bar there in the, in the um, output. So that's very cool. And uh, we can do one more very cool thing um, to, sh to have a feel for how, how it can be to use the REPL. You can, you can modify uh, the, this function to do something else. You can also inspect things uh, about the program. Um, but they need to be um, like globally accessible. Uh, and then in closure that is happening using the namespaces. And so you can't, you can't look at this value here, for instance, because that's not defined in the namespace. That is a local variable. So what you, what you can do is that you can make it, uh, you can define it in the namespace. So what I sometimes do is that I define it like this. So this is def is a function that, or it's, it's a, not a function, it's a macro that defines um, uh, vars uh, uh, mapping to a value and then give them uh, a name. Like this symbol is, uh, is uh, uh, referring to that value. So if we redefine this function, again, now we have installed a new version of this function, that now when this function will run, it will define db value in the namespace from this local db value. So let's run the server info command once more. And now we should be able to say we want to look at the project root URI here. Oh, so that's that. So you can look at the class pass setting that was needed in this case, the project settings, uh, these, and so on and so forth. And you can actually uh, look at the full map that would be returned. So this is the server info, the same thing you see here in JSON, you see it in Eden uh, here. Uh, and that is of course uh, super powerful when you wanna uh, change a function to, to do something else that you can actually use the, the REPL to, uh, to see. So if we, for instance, redefine this map to do that, uh, and then you evaluate, then you will get a new map here and you see. So that's very quick uh, way uh, to work. And then the linter here warns about this inline depth that we should remove it uh, so we don't have it in in our code uh, when we commit it. Yeah, so that's what we have done. We actually uh, modified the uh, closure LSP server while it was uh, running. I uh, hope you will try this yourself and help improve uh, closure LSP because it is a super cool project. Thank you. And don't forget to like this video. Um, of course, subscribe to the channel and, and all that. Uh, Calva uh, needs uh, more subscribers to its YouTube channel. So, you know, thank you in advance.